I like going to brunch as much as the next guy, but I'm sick and tired of these high prices. I mean, $30 for some shrimp and grits is crazy. So let's make it at home and better and with less hookah smoke in my face. This recipe is my easiest to date and its versatility makes it one of my favorites. You can make the most simple grits with butter and salt and call it a day, or you can find ways to elevate it and bring out more complex flavors like we're going to today. Let's start off by prepping our veggies and shrimp. You're gonna need a whole white onion and a couple of bell peppers. These are going into our sauce, so make sure they are cut into manageable pieces. I had an interesting time chopping off some of these. This is an absurd way to cut these. But we got through it. Also, at the end, we're gonna to top off our dish with some green onions that not only look great, but makes it taste even better. You can use the same knife with these, but I prefer to just cut them with a pair of shears. For our shrimp, I'm using these tail off medium sized ones from the store, but you can use whatever's in your fridge. Except if it's the already cooked ones, don't do that. Drizzle them with a little oil, then douse them with the classic garlic and onion powder, black pepper, and then you can't forget the Cajun seasoning. I also like to add some smoked paprika for a little bit of flair. Now get your hands dirty and combine those spices. Set that to the side for now. To get your grit started, let's get about two cups of water and bring that to a rolling boil. Now here's the first trick I got for you. Your grits are only gonna taste like what you cook them in. Meaning if your water is flavorless, so will the final product be. That's why for today, we'll be adding a cube of chicken bouillon. Unless you have the powder version, make sure to break it apart so that it can dissolve properly. You can also use chicken broth as well. Now you can stop here, but what I like to do is add a touch of garlic and onion powder. A pinch of black pepper doesn't hurt either. Time for the grits, which are just the standard Quaker Oats ones you get from the store. Drop that in there and mix it up. Here's trick number two. We're gonna add about a half cup of heavy whipping cream in there. If you like your grits thick like I do, this will help with the texture you're looking for. And guys, hear me out. I know we measure a lot of things with the heart over here, but please use some measuring cups for this. The last thing you wanna do is be over the stove all day, waiting for the grits to thicken because you added too much water. If you wanted to wait 40 minutes to eat, you coulda just went out. Once we remove the lid, let's do a consistency check if they're at your desired thickness, go ahead and take it off the stove. If not, replace the cover and let it simmer for a couple more minutes. Mine were good, so we're gonna cut the flame. Now I know my doctor might not like this, but we're gonna add in an entire stick of butter. I never said this was a healthy recipe. Here's the second thing that'll take your dish up a notch. We're gonna add some freshly grated smoked gouda and cheddar in here. About a half a cup each should do. If you can do this next step at the same time, that would be great, but if not, it's okay. These grits are gonna stay hot for a minute, so let's get this shrimp and sauce done. Grab your shrimp and get it into a hot pan with some oil. The flame should be on medium low. This is very important. If you don't already know, shrimp cooks extremely fast. You probably only need about two minutes per side depending on the pan. Here's a good way to tell if your shrimp are done or not. When they curl up into a sea, that means they're cooked. Take them out immediately. If they turn into O's, that's going to be the same number of chances you have with that girl who you're serving overcooked shrimp to. Bottom line, once they get that C shape, set them aside. We're close to finishing, so make sure to drop a like if you've enjoyed the video so far. Get that same pan we used a minute ago to cook the shrimp in and get it over medium low heat. Introduce the veggies to that fawn and let those get tender. You'll also want to add some minced garlic in there as well. You can really never have too much. To that, we're gonna take some heavy whipping cream to create our sauce. Season that with the same spices we use for the shrimp and let it come to a simmer and thicken. This part was a freestyle, but I put some extra cheese in there as well, cause I mean, why not? Time to combine. We're going grits on the bottom. If we did this right, they should still be piping hot. Get at least three scoops in there. Please do not be stingy. Let's clean up our mess a bit and lay out the blackened shrimp. Guys, this whole dish takes less than 30 minutes from start to finish and it's so easy to adjust to your liking. Like I said earlier, it's one of my favorites. Stick with me here. Grab the sauce we just made and get that on top. 
that's going to bring everything together and take this meal up to another level. Of course we couldn't finish this recipe without those green onions we made earlier. And there you have it, shrimp and grits without the $20 parking fee. Now if that's not the perfect meal to get your Sunday fun day started, I don't know what is. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a like so you don't miss anything from the night.